Chick, 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 chick. <laughs> I'm Forrest Smith, and welcome to my channel. Well, if you can hear in the background, I got some chickens on the farm. I have 20 of them. So right now I want to show you my chickens and show you the little run I have built for them. Now let me start off by saying I don't need any haters on here. I know this isn't the best run out there. This is a temporary run. Uh, I'm still trying to plan out the homestead and where I'm going to build permanent structures. But I wanted to go ahead and get some chickens out here and get them started because they're going to be a couple months before they start laying eggs. So what I did was I built this run and I built it in such a way as that I could take it apart and use most everything over again. I'll have this thing taken down and uh, reuse the material to build other stuff. So again, this isn't a how-to video. This is kind of like inspiration just to see what I did. I watched a whole bunch of different YouTube videos and some things I liked, some ideas I didn't like. So I just kind of put it all together and made my own and that's what I'm hoping to do here, you know take away from it what you will if you like some of it awesome use it if you don't that's fine too so let me show you what I did all right so first of all it's 25 foot long I use six cattle panels they're 50 inches long and that made it 25 feet now what I did I covered a section of it with some visqueen so if it rains they could get out of the rain and if you look on the ground right there you know, I still have to come back and cut the ends off to make it all nice and pretty. But this was just put together hastily just because I needed to get my chickens in here. They were outgrowing the brooder that I had them in. So let's uh, look at some more parts of it. Hungry little birds this morning. So, I use a log trying to save money because this is temporary. So I cut a log, laid it down to hold the cattle panels from bowing out. So these are eight foot wide at the base, making it six foot tall at the top, easily to walk in. So what I did is underneath the log and coming back out three feet, I have chicken wire, which I went ahead and covered back up. So let me show you the other side, which I left exposed just to show you that I did it. All right, so there it is, the exposed chicken wire. Uh, now I'll still come back and cover this up, but that's so predators can dig underneath it. All right, so what I have right here, going three foot down, is hardware cloth. This has quarter inch holes to keep snakes out, uh, stop raccoons from reaching in and grabbing hold of one of them. Then across the whole top, I have chicken wire and that chicken wire goes all the way across over and down to the other side and that stops anything from coming in from above. Out here we have possums, raccoons, coyotes, wild dogs, foxes, um, I'm sure there's a couple other things. We have snakes out here but this uh, thing's going to protect them while they're here. So what I did, as you can see, I use zip ties. Now, if you're going to use zip ties, make sure you use the black ones because they're rated to be outdoors into the sun. The white ones, the clear ones, they're going to get very brittle and uh, break apart. Let's get a little closer. Show you how I held the paddle can, uh, the cattle panels together. Man, this is, the name is escaping me right now, but basically these are the hoops you put through a pig's nose to stop them from rutting. Um, they're little, like little C's, they come with special pliers, you put them in the pliers and then when you crimp it, it tightens it up like that. Ah, major look. So that's how I held the cattle panels together. I got them about every couple inches, or not every couple inches, every foot or two going all the way up and all the way down the other side. All right, I just have a normal door I made out of two by fours on there. 
We've got two latches, one at the top, one at the bottom. All right, so the way I frame this up, like I said, this is all temporary. I use minimum screws. Uh, my big corner posts, I just dug down two feet and set them. I didn't even put them in concrete because they're expensive and I'm gonna pull them up when I'm done in a couple months. So let me open this up. You see, the way I designed it, the backing is this two by four here. So when it, it hits, it can't go back through. So no amount of animal force pushing on this door is going to push it open. Now, I have these two by fours on the corner. Let me open it up. There you go. You can see it better. And basically what I have this for, they're in all four corners just to hold this hardware cloth on. Because if a really big animal comes and pushes, it might pop uh, the little staples I have, but it's not going to pull it out from under these two by fours. Another thing I built, or not built, that I put on that I really like, that adds to the security. A spring, that way I open it, I go inside, it automatically shuts behind me. The chickens can't get out. I just wanted to show y'all what's going on here, show y'all my chickens. They are buff Orientons, <laughs> and they're happy. And I come out here and I watch them at the end of the day when I get off work and they're pretty funny. Till next time, I'm Forrest Smith and I'll see you later.